Kathy, who is going to recite I'm Certain I Sing Like an Angel by Jack Polinsky in the book Something Big Has Been Here. Let's hear her recite. Certain I sing like an angel. I am a mel mellifluous voice. The moment I open my musical mouth, the militudes ought to rejoice. I croon with melodic precision in tunes undenlittly sweet. I wonder why people throw water at me whenever I sing in the street. Little mouth. Next, we're going to have Bryn Happy reciting Don't Yell at Me in the, sh in the Something Big Has Been Here book. Let's hear her recite. Don't yell at me. I hate it when you do. Makes me feel so miserable. I want to run from you. I simply cannot stand it when you yell into my ear. If I knew how to do it, I'd simply disappear. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. I'll crawl away and hide. I'll detonate into smithereens or shrivel up inside. Feel free to th thumb your nose at me or wiggle your toes at me or even ring a bell at me. But please, please, don't yell at me! Boy, Brent has a loud voice. Let's see what she's going to read next. Oh, my gosh. Kidnapped. This ought to be good. Kidnapped is by Shel Silverstein in his first book. Let's hear her and this weird, crazy poem. Three nasty men. Okay, I'll just tell you, please. Okay, here is what happened. This morning I got kidnapped by three masked men. They stopped me on the sidewalk and offered me some candy. And when I wouldn't take it, they grabbed me by the collar and pinned my arms behind me and shoved me into the back seat <clears throat> of this big black limousine and tied my hands behind my back with sharp and rusty wire. Then they put a blindfold on me so I couldn't see where I was going. And then, and then they plugged my ears with cotton so I couldn't hear their voices and drove for 20 miles, or at least for 20 minutes, and then dragged me from the car down to some cold and moldy basement where they stuck me in a corner and went off to get the ransom, leaving one of me to guard me with a shotgun pointed at me tied up sitting on a school. That's why I'm late for school. Here, now Brent is going to read from Something Big Has Been Here, The Unhappy South Pole Penguin. Unhappy South Paul Penguin, you are in a nasty mood as you try to chew your dinner, which refuses to be chewed. But a simple undertaking will improve your attitude. You must defrost your dinner for your dinner's frozen food. 